Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I am so, so excited. Today is finally the day where I'm gonna go have a look at the car that I've been looking at on car sales for so long. Now, a lot of you guys probably know what it is if you tuned into the live stream uh, last Wednesday, or possibly from Instagram, or possibly if you know me well, I probably would have just told you anyway. Um, but the car I'm looking at today, super, super excited about. You guys have no idea. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is, just like the last video. I'm gonna keep you guys like on the lowdown for a little bit because my last video got so many views because I just kept it a secret. So I'm gonna attempt with this one here as well. So we're gonna go pick up Gene Rhodes and then we're going to go, sorry about the exhaust. We're gonna go pick up Gene Rhodes. Um, he is my mechanic guy that I'm going to be sending um, or coming with me so he can come and have a look at the stuff. Um, yeah, super excited. I need to get fuel as well. See you guys when I'm actually doing something. Seems to be an all too familiar place at the moment. And fuel is so cheap at the moment, guys. A dollar twenty per litre. That's amazing. One thing was the rear bar here. Let's gotta to touch that one up. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of a scuff there. Um, on the back of this door here, there's all, um, so that'll have to be changed. Um, a lot better condition than the last one. Um, front bar will have to be replaced. <laughs> it's a, um, a four-cylinder, this one. Yeah, one of the EcoBoost ones, yeah. It's one of one of eleven in this colour. Snowflakes all through it. Beautiful. Really decent clean interior. I really like it. I think I might buy this one. What do you guys reckon? Beautiful. Get it guys, so this is nowhere near as big of a reveal as what I wanted to show you guys. I know you guys are really keen to see this video, um, and obviously I didn't get enough clips of it uh, to really make a really big edit for it. Um, however, what I wanted to really explain to you guys, like I did with the last uh, car that I went to go see, it's a really nice car, and, and majority of it is really, really, really well done. Um, the paint is, is bad, is in a bad shape, but it can be fixed. And what I was thinking about doing is, because it's all in a decent shape, but it's on a, it's, it's, it's not great, I could do a complete panel swap of this car, and then all I'd have to fix up is the roof and the rear guards. That would be, like, ultimately really cool. There is some things on it, like I did say the front bumper and the rear bumper were kind of-ish. I think it's good enough for me to make an offer on it. I'm currently, currently texting back and forth with the owner of the car right now. Chris is an awesome guy. Um, he let me come out with a couple of my mates. We um, we had Gene test drive the car, which I didn't get any clips of, I apologize. Um, I also test drove the car. Feels absolutely beautiful. The whole car has been redone with like super pro bushes, um, in which if you guys know FGs, literally it's like diff bushes, just anything in the rear coat or bush wise, everything is like just, it, it just claps out after like 150,000. The only issue that we're having at the moment is the turbo does have a very loud whistle for a stock car. Now, at first, I just thought, okay, maybe they've replaced the turbo at some point with something different or, um, you know, something along those lines. However, Gene also told me that possibly what might have happened is there could have been a dirty filter in there um, or there could still be a dirty filter in there at the moment. Yeah, what that potentially means is the fact that the car might have a slightly damaged turbo. It still works, it still creates great power, but it might be slightly damaged. Um, good thing is it's only a baby turbo, which um, which baby turbos for the turbo FGs are like only $400 to replace, um, $200 labor, so it's not too bad. So if I can get the price down to like maybe somewhere between 12 and 13, I'm going to be a pretty happy person. There's, there is some stuff that you guys did see. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to fix the front seat. Give it a good clean up, definitely. Yeah, and I'm always going to have to swap out everything in this car. But yeah, I, I reckon it's a good starting platform for me and potentially going turbo. Um, so I think this one will be the one, guys. And all goes well. You guys will see 
an amazing vlog coming next Saturday. Um, so yeah, as I said, texting back and forth with them right now. Really keen to see how this goes. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of vlogs time. Catch us later.